Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Ooh, I am Diamond. If you don't know, if you do not know, rewind. <laughs> hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am. <sighs> hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Diamond. If you do not know who I am, I am currently in a hotel room right now. Super freaking excited um i have a work trip well i'm on a work trip by myself four hours away from home i am in gulfport mississippi y'all this is my first time ever being in gulfport mississippi i'm right here okay i got really interrupted i was on the phone with my sister and she came back to the phone but I am in Gulfport. This is my first time ever in Gulfport. So I plan on having some fun. Today really would have been the day to go out and like enjoy the the hotel, enjoy the town, like just straight explore because there's absolutely nothing to do today the conference doesn't start until tomorrow checking in at 7 30 so i have to drive there obviously and i actually need to look up how far it will be from the hotel everybody should be leaving at the same time like this is the hotel that they gave us the conference a um discount for and it is in Long Beach. So let me see. Let me put it in maps to see how long it would be from my hotel. I like to do this the night before. Um, just to see East Beach Drive. Oh my gosh, it's only eight minutes. That is so freaking perfect. That is perfect. It is only eight minutes from the hotel. Okay. Okay, so, um, great. Like, that's, that's really perfect. I don't have to wake up early and do it i still have to wake up early because i like doing my makeup but yeah i don't have to like wake up super duper early just to let me see where a starbucks is because that's gonna be a game changer i need coffee in the morning starbucks okay this might be a problem the closest starbucks is four miles away going the other way <sighs> we're like right off the beach so we're at the end we're at the very bottom of mississippi so um that is a little bit of a problem coffee shops nearby oh there is a coffee shop 0.8 miles away But let me see if I can find a seven brew. Seven brew. Not in Gulfport. Um, what's the other? Duncan. Temporarily closed. Okay. Um, I can't think of another one. Whatever. We're just gonna go to this. This one 0.8 miles away. Boozers brew and a coffee an, and a cafe too. Okay, and they open at 6 a.m. Which way though? Okay. Okay, we're gonna go to this in the morning because it's closer. 
Okay. That sounds like a plan, and it looks nice. I may have breakfast here. This is lovely. Okay, I may wake up. They open at 6. I may wake up at 5, do my makeup, then go there at 6, come back, eat some breakfast because they'll be, um, I'm just trying to think about some things. They should be open. The lady, I don't know if she has like social anxiety or something, but the lady was not like she was just trying to rush everybody out the way. Even when I came back up there and I was like, um, just quick questions. And I was just asking her, like, is it a bar? Does it serve food? Um, is it open? Like, where are the hours? She was like, they're open now. Um, and then I tried to ask her about like different places to eat. Like, cause I like being nice to people. I like trying to make friends, you know? Can't be friends with everybody though. She says something with the S on it. It's 0.8 miles away. No, that's not it. She says it's something that's walking distance. Okay, back to the freaking drawing board. Let's see if I can find something on DoorDash because these two restaurants that are directly beside the hotel don't look like they hit no nothing. Something about having three various tacos for $12 just don't sit right with me. Like, why is it $12? Little small tacos. Anyway, um, I honestly think I might end up going down and seeing what they have at the... um chef's t table bar whatever you want to call it i don't know i don't know i just can't make up my mind i really can't but i know i'm hungry and i know i want something like something now that i can get right now I don't know. I'll come back to y'all when I figure out what I'm gonna get. <laughs> okay, y'all. I had to make sure I was recording. Let me close my window. Cause I finally, finally think I figured out what I want. I think I'm gonna go to this place called Shaggy's and get some shrimp quesadillas, um, chicken and shrimp. I'm, I'm gonna see if they'll let me do that. And a little drinky drink. And it is walking distance. It says it's four minutes away, but I may drive because I'm gonna put on a cute little outfit and have my purse on me and I'm by myself. So I don't wanna drive. I um I don't wanna walk over there by myself. It also may be dark when I get back. That's why I'm trying to close my blinds and um cut on my lights because i don't want to come back to a dark room and i also don't want to come back to my blinds open and it's dark Okay, so I think I am. Let me see how much my iPad is charged. And I may take my iPad and I think that'll be it. That'll be it. Because I want to enjoy my time. I may just take my phone and call it a day. I think I am just going to take my, my phone and call it. Is that good or? I think I may just take my phone and call it a day. Um, now I need to figure out. It is five. Let me see. It's a, oh, it's six. So, yeah. I should probably. I'm trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. I'm still going to go because I want to enjoy my time. 
I'm trying to figure out. Let me just get dressed, y'all, because I'm all over the place. So I recorded for five minutes and realized that I was not actually recording. So this is the fit. <laughs> Let's try this again. This is the fit. You can't see it right here, but let me go in the light. Oops. Okay. Let me try this. That's the fit. Um, I was saying that I'm about to go, but I want to go to the mall and go out to eat because I want to see if I can find something cute because this is the only cute thing that I got. So I'm going to go to the mall. I found that sneaker that I was trying to... Okay, here we go. Gucci perfume. Okay. So, I just pulled my smell goods. All of that. Oh, my poor baby. Ivy is like so sad. Okay, all right, but I'm on my way to go out to eat. I want to go to the mall. One has to give, like, I'm either going to go to one while it's dark. My mom doesn't want me to go out at night by myself, but I'm going to have to because I'm by myself. I'm going to this place called Shaggy's. I finally decided what I'm eating, and I'm going to get a quesadilla. So let's hope it's good and this is the reason I asked for two cards because I knew that I was going to misplace them somehow and I already misplaced the one which means that this one that I have I need to keep up with when I was by myself at a conference the last time I had to get let into the room so I'm trying to prevent that this time and remember my key card so let's hope that I do I will talk to y'all when I get to the restaurant hey y'all so I am leaving the restaurant it was a fun experience I enjoyed it um this is my first time eating somewhere by myself like out of town so I really enjoyed that as well I did get a platter of coconut um shrimp to go and they did me right it's a bunch of coconut shrimp in there I spent I think she said $34 um with my drink it was like 43 which i don't think is that bad um i had <clears throat> technically i got a starter and a platter so i think 34 dollars is good for that amount and then plus the drink which was nine dollars i think that's a really good amount for to eat in also as well i did tip um i think five dollars for my food and then another two dollars for my drink so yeah she got a good little tip on her for me because i had to do two separate um things so yeah and i always do the highest percentage which is why it was that much i think for the my food it was the lowest percentage and then the for my drink it was the highest which was still like seven dollars i think eight with the cents added so yeah still good it was enjoyable um i loved eating out there because they have it so that they spray um i guess insect spray spray like repellent on the outside so that the bugs don't come 
to the the tables there was a huge i don't know what the freak that was it was really really big though um i don't know what it was um really quickly i just thought to tell my friend that i'm about to call him so let me do that really quickly okay there we go so um yeah and this was literally less than a minute from the hotel i am gonna have to take a different route to get back to the hotel because i don't know where i'm going but um yeah it was amazing it was fun it was great i enjoyed it um the reason that i spent so much on dinner today was because Oh, this is one way. That sucks, but I'm gonna have to take it. Um, but yeah, the reason that I spent so much on dinner today was because that's actually gonna last me today and tomorrow, which is a good thing. I spent 30 something dollars and I know that both meals are gonna, what is that? That thing is lifted. Okay, yeah. Does this say no U-turns? I'm gonna be so mad if it says no U-turns. I think you cannot make a U-turn. That is crazy. That is insane. Are there people still out on the beach? If there were people still out on the beach, I would have definitely went, but it doesn't look like there's people out on the beach. Uh, okay it's getting dark i have come to terms with the fact that i cannot i absolutely cannot drive at night um i need new glasses and i think that's the reason why i can't drive at night so i actually need to be getting in um soon but i'm gonna try to just explore a little bit <laughs> Since I'm out, I might as well. I'm gonna explore just a little bit. I'm gonna see where going straight takes me. And I'm a, I know I'm gonna have to turn around soon because if I keep going straight, there's gonna be a turn off for New Orleans. And I do not need to go to New Orleans. Even though New Orleans is just an hour away. I don't need to go. I will get into some trouble if I go to New Orleans right now. One, with my parents and two, with the person that is um in new orleans that i know so i do not need to go to new orleans this is the life the city life here though you can tell it's one of those cities that never sleeps because look at this look at this oh my gosh is this the casino mississippi power that's a electric company I think this is the casino. I think it is for real. Oh, if I was not by myself, I would definitely go. But again, I will get into some trouble. I'm already out and it's nighttime. So your girl needs to get back in. Okay whatever what evs what evs okay, i need to figure out how to get off this highway i'm gonna have to turn into somewhere and get on the other side of the road That's all oh my gosh not me seeing a freaking cyber truck in person and i ah, i wasn't able to catch it on camera I just saw a freaking cyber truck in person. And that was my first time. The beach looks so calm though. It looks so calm. And I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go to the beach while I'm here. There are just people parked on the side. I didn't know that that was okay. Oh, 
Oh, this is another hotel. But like I was telling y'all, my uh, my hotel is literally on the beach. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just walk over. <laughs> I'm going to just walk over when I have some time. I'm going to just walk and enjoy some time on the beach. There and then to the right of me is beachfront houses. Like I bet these run. I want to run some comps. Oh my gosh. I want to go to an open house while I'm here too. And then there's spots available like I bet the real estate here is banging. I bet it's freaking bomb. This is for sale, for sale. Coldwell Banker. Like, what? Sometimes I forget, like, especially since I'm on a work trip for Delta State, I be forgetting that I am uh, a realtor. I just woke up, it is 5.43, so I'm about to take a shower and do my makeup because check-in is at 7.30. So I just got out the shower. I have my makeup here in my makeup bag. I was supposed to um, take all my makeup out yesterday and make sure I had everything. And if I didn't go to the store, but I completely forgot to do that. Um, so I'm just going to do it now. And if I don't have anything, I'll just have to. I know what I didn't bring. I know exactly what I didn't bring. I did not bring my on till dawn spray. <laughs> no. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just setting everything out, making sure I got everything for each step. And then there goes my foundation. I'm going to get started on my makeup. So um my camera. actually needs to charge so i'm going to put y'all on charger finish everything get ready and then i'm gonna go downstairs and eat breakfast so i'm gonna get ready i'll talk to y'all when i'm done all right y'all i had to come back and get y'all because i did leave the um room just to order breakfast um this is what i'm wearing so this was also the dress I wore for my first um, day of classes. It's so cute. I love it. Um, I came back to get my computer as well, just so I can work while I eat. I'm eating out there um, before I have to go. It is 6.50. I'll probably leave around like 6, not 6, 7.15 or something around that. Just because I want to make sure I get checked in. And everything I think we start at eight so yeah let's go Thank you. I have my computer. I'm about to do some work really quickly. I got my fruit cup and then I also ordered a breakfast burrito. Okay, y'all. So 
I just ate breakfast. Um, this was my breakfast. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's a little foggy. But that was my breakfast. It is after 7. I think it's about to be 7.20. And I still have not gone and gotten my coffee. Um, I'm going to a coffee shop. So, I kind of need to go ahead and go. Um, it's no problem though because, honestly, I think I need to wait. It's no problem though because... Check-in is from like 7.30 to 8.15, so that's a lot of time. Um, but I do need to pack up. Y'all know when I go somewhere, I take a lot of stuff. I really do. So not only do I have my backpack, but I also have my purse. And then on top of that, I have like my iPad, my parking pass, all of that. So I just need to make sure I take everything, but I am about to go. It is 7.18. So I'm about to go try to make sure I get there on time. Uh, we are having lunch at the place. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Like, yeah, lunch is at 11. I just got the itinerary from one of the um, people that was there. She was at lunch, so at breakfast getting a coffee so y'all breakfast is not free here this is a kind of like luxury um special treatment hotel breakfast is not cheap um it's not cheap and it's not free i am gonna get in the pool today or just sit by it um just because i want to But I'm going to try to get ready and leave so that I can be there on time or a little bit on time. When I tell y'all, this is insane. As soon as I walk out, I just see the beach. It's crazy. My room was cold and then I walked outside. So the camera is fogged. Northeast Mississippi community college is here in Awamba already left so let's see I'm about to get in and get settled in my car it looks so good out here I brought everything I need um I'm about to crank up shaky there is a coffee shop up the road so I'm gonna go there it's called Boozer's Brew and a Cafe too is that the one going towards yeah yeah starting route to boozer's brew and a cafe too period take a right on east beach boulevard then in 100 feet take a slight right turn on 15th street i'm trying to also hurry up because um i'm late <laughs> and i haven't paid my registration fee so i want to make sure in a quarter mile, the destination is on your left, Boozer's Brew, and a cafe too. In a quarter mile, it'll be on the left. Y'all, these beachfront houses, I don't know if you'd still call them beachfront, but they look like beachfront houses. Boozer's Brew and a cafe too. The destination is on your left, yeah, Boozer's Brew, that. and a cafe too. But how in the world do I get Arrived. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to do a U-turn. Buses only? There's buses over here? doing 
Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just did that. It looks like I need to go this way anyway. Hold on. I am all over the place. Okay. Oh no. Not my precious car. Oh, that's a big hump. Oh, don't scrape. Surprisingly, I didn't. Okay. This is a. Oh, okay. Okay. Is this a drive through? This is so funny. They named their um their church St. Peter's by the Sea. Episcopal Church. There's the sign for it right there. <laughs> that is crazy. It looks like a nice church though. It looks like a nice church. Okay. It's 7:31. Let me find my. I'm really not in a park, so I'm gonna try my best to get in and get out. I'm walking to my car right now. I started vlogging right now because I really want to try this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it while I'm walking, cause it looks really good. I took a picture of it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, y'all can see it. I took a picture of it. I got caramel around the cup, cold foam. Woo! I'm excited. So, it's called the Spiced Harvest, and it has um maple syrup caramel and brown sugar and then i added cold foam it tastes like fall in a cup i love it it really does taste like fall in a cup <laughs> i'm so happy okay so from here i know that i can go straight to the place that I need to be. And this is 7.30. Okay, I'm eight minutes away. I need to pay my registration fee. So I hope they accept card. But I will meet y'all there. It's an eight minute drive, so I'm gonna enjoy my music. Okay, y'all, so... I'm kind of rushing now because I am late, honestly, but I'm about to go and get in. Problem is, I don't know where to go. Okay, guys, I made some friends. Um, I sat down at a table that didn't have anybody at it, and then three other people sat down with me. And now we're about to go to lunch together. And guess where we're going? Back to Shaggy's. We are going back to Shaggy's, which is perfectly fine with me because I had a good experience at Shaggy's. It was really nice. Like the people was nice, the food was good. So I really enjoyed it and I just hope I have a good time. Well, I know I'm gonna have a good time. So 
yeah but that's what we're doing we're about to go have we're about to go have lunch it is 11.03 we have to be back at I think this thing said 1245 let me look at the thing again Yes, we have to be back at 1245, which is a good amount of time for lunch. I want them to take off first because I suck at driving in an unfamiliar place. So I'm hoping they go, she reverses first. I have one beside me and one across from me and they have not moved yet. Okay, let's go. Oh. Y'all, the craziest thing, we're out of the conference by the way, but the craziest thing right now is that it is sunny outside, but it's raining, but it's only raining in patches. So it's raining literally in front of my car. I don't know if y'all can tell all of those droplets but over there it's not raining i'm about to go back to the room put my stuff down do some work on my computer just like just some small work and then um i'm gonna put on my bikini and go to the beach even though it's raining i'm gonna still go because i don't think i really think it's just gonna do this for a little bit and then it's gonna calm down so I'm gonna pull on my bikini and go to the beach for a little bit. So I will talk to y'all when I get back to the hotel. Hey y'all, I forgot to record before I left out, but I'm on my way to the mall just to see what kind of stores they got. Um, Just to be nosy, child. I don't wanna go too far. Oh my gosh, that's a beachfront house. Anyway, I don't wanna go too, too far because it is about to be 5 30 it's 5 28 and um i would just hate to go too far away from my hotel and then have to drive back at night and i still want to go to the beach and have some fun for a little bit i got on my swimsuit um i forgot to show y'all this is how it looks but i'm gonna show y'all in a little bit if i can like get it to the point where i actually show y'all but yeah I'm about to get up on my turn, so I kind of need to pay attention to the road. So I will talk to y'all when I get to mall. Y'all, I'm in this mall and it looks like there's barely anything. Oh, okay, never mind. I probably need to keep going. It looks like most of them are shutting down though. Um, even though I looked online and it said that they shut down at 7, like the entire mall. I think I want to go in there. I don't know what this is. It looks like a nail salon. This shoe department is huge. Y'all, I underestimated this mall so much. I kept walking and there's so much in it. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm lost right now. This is a whole bouncy house thing. Like, that's really crazy. Yeah, I'm really lost. I am really lost. Okay. Hey guys, so I finally made it out to the beach. I can hear the water as I get closer. 
it looks and feels amazing out here I really want to turn the camera around so y'all can see it. I have my purse and stuff out here too. Like, beautiful. It's so beautiful. And it smells good. I don't know what it is. Like, I know it's the water, but it smells amazing. I had to call my sister because this part where I'm at is like literally right off the um highway and I was like I don't see people in their bikinis like I got a whole bikini on and she was like my friend said you're fine because he has family down here he was like my friend said you're fine so you're good but I'm about to sit my stuff down. More importantly, I'm about to take my shoes off and just sit over here and enjoy the view. I forgot I was still recording. <laughs> I completely forgot I was still recording. I just took some um, pictures and videos on my phone but after this i'm gonna go and go to the hotel and actually get in the pool to wipe some of this sand off of me because i know i'm gonna have it on me um there's no avoiding that but it's so freaking beautiful out here i really want to walk on that thing over there but i'm pretty sure if i had someone else i would but i'm too close i'm out by myself like i'm trying to be cautious of what i do just to make sure I'm good, you know, because I wouldn't want something to happen to me while I'm the only person here and I can't. Swim. Life is really good. Life is so good. God is amazing. Even though I'm scared of huge bodies of water, this looks beautiful. I want to put some sand in my cup and just take it with me. Take it home with me. That was about the most stupidest shit I ever heard. Listen to me as I... Slow. 